briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1940, a legal dispute arose in the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit, focusing on whether the rights to a performance extend beyond the initial sale of the recording and whether unauthorized broadcasting of the performance constituted unfair competition. The case, RCA MFG. Company V. Whiteman involved a disagreement between RCA Manufacturing Company, Paul Whiteman, and WBO Broadcasting Corporation over the broadcast of phonograph records of Whiteman's orchestra performances. Both Whiteman and RCA Manufacturing Company filed complaints against WBO Broadcasting Corporation, seeking to stop the broadcasting of the records, and for Whiteman to be declared to have no interest in the records. The core of the dispute revolved around common law artistic property rights tied to the reproduction of performances and whether they ended with the sale of records. It also questioned the validity of a legend on records being seen as a servitude. The broadcasting of records, sales, and contractual relationships between the parties were all relevant to the case. Ultimately, the court held that the lower court's decision was incorrect and dismissed the case. The ruling was based on the reasoning that common law artistic property rights do not extend to records after their sale, that a legend on records does not create servitude, and that there were no valid claims of unfair competition or privacy violations. As a result, the court overturned the decision, dismissed the case, and awarded WBO Broadcasting Corporation reimbursement for legal expenses. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.